It is proof in many experiences and many projects that if you have an approach on the women, well, women is to some culture, they are really the one that thinking about the welfare of the family. You know, it doesn't mean that the man is not thinking of that, but this is a matter of priority. If we know that the woman bring some money, definitely what they will do in average, most of them, you know, 90-90%, they will bring the money for the benefit of the family. This is not only in Indonesia, but I'm sure that so many stories in Bangladesh, India, and many places in developing countries. That's why the intervention of reducing the poverty has to be, you know, go through the woman's hand. Because I believe in 20 years ago, when there is a big conference for Global Assembly for Women and Environment, there's a very nice thought and statement that if you educate one man, you educate one person. But if you educate one woman, you educate one generation. Well, if, if I may give some criticism to the system economic that being built now and it is proof that creating so many uh, social unrest you know you talk about Wall Street versus Main Street you know in my own opinion that the most sustainable business is if you also including the community where you have your own business operating a very clear example the global poverty happened occurred due to the disconnection between the local community and their own local resources. Why don't we reconnect these resources? Because if you run a business, why don't you give share? You know, it doesn't have to be a big share, but the share that you are giving to the community who are the owner of the resources is the way that you are going to create sustainability of your business, also you share your welfare with the local community. You know, even though it's small, but you create dignity, you give them ownership, you also share with them the wealth that you cannot finish on your own. I believe that.